In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to give you some tips on working with the AI Background Removal Tool. This allows you to remove everything but the person in the screen and either make the background fuzzy or make the background transparent. First one we're going to look at is the best kind of candidate for effective background removal. This gentleman here has a very clear outline around the outside of his body and there's not a lot of motion. So I'm going to click on the clip which happens to be on track 2 and click on edit. And from the edit menu I want to be in video and the tool submenu and then I have an option that gives me the AI background remover. I'll click on that. And now it gives me the options I have with my background remover. I have a, it says only human figures can be cut out. That's not quite true. We'll show you in, in a bit about that. So I have a transparent background or a blurred background. And I can ch change the degree of blur with the slider. Let's first of all do transparent. I'll click on the checkbox to activate it. And now immediately, because I have a background behind him, you see that it did a fairly decent job as I play this. There's some little glitches, some little artifacts here and there, but it did a fairly decent job of trying to isolate the man and remove the rest of the background. So this would be one of the best case scenarios. Let's try something else. Let's change it from a transparent background to a blurred background. And I'm going to take the blur. You notice that if there's anything on the tracks underneath it, you won't see them because the blur is not transparent. But let's blur out the background quite a bit and play this. Let me back up so we have some more time in the video. And we'll play it. And really, that's not too bad. I find that in most cases, if you want to simply blur the background, this does a very good frame-by-frame -frame blur. Again, there are some artifacts that show, but it's not too bad, especially with a clearly defined subject. Let's try a different clip. Let's try this one of the couple here. They're frolicking on the edge of the water. And let's see how it does two people with motion. And we also have issues with her hair. So let me try blurred background first. And you see now we don't see the ocean clearly. We do have some issues with her hair. Trying to figure that out and a few other artifacts. But this isn't too bad as a result. Now let's try the other option for this one. Let's go a tr to a transparent background. Now what I also did, I'll show you how I got the red here in a moment. We're going to click here and we'll play this. Now here's how you can get an outline around people or take it away. I'm going to click on the advanced button. And then I also, in the advanced, I, no, I not only have the same controls I had before under background remover, I actually had it a border. Let's turn the border off so we can see better. Click on OK. And now let's see how it does with no border, just with the background. And here you see, because we have a lot of motion, we have a lot of gaps, it's not a very clear outline we have a little bit more issue with the background removal. Let's look at another example. This one is just a very quiet example of one person, but it's a gal with long hair. So I'm going to turn the transparent on. And now if we play this one, again, we only see the gal. If there was a background, we could put it behind her. And in the preview mode, there is going to be some starting and stopping in some cases, but not when it's actually produced. And But you see we have some issues because the background is, makes it difficult to distinguish her hair from the other surrounding areas. Okay, let's look at another one. This one is a little easier. Let's take this one here, and we'll go to transparent on this gal, and we'll play it. And it's doing its best to isolate. Again, where you have the clearest contrast, it does a good job. But you have some other areas of color around her head that are similar to skin tones. At least they're, they're not dramatically different. 
So that's what you get when you do this one. Now let me try another option on this one. We'll stop it and we'll go to a blurred background. And again, blurred tends to give you a little bit better flavor. Again, if the, if the character is distinct, that makes the best difference in the world. If it's not, you're going to have some issues. But some of these frames in here are not really too bad. Let's try another one. What happens when you have multiple people that are separated? So let's try the blurred background on this one. I'm going to turn AI background remover on and we'll play this. Here what you notice is if you have a lot of motion, uh, you notice the gal on the left, you're going to lose parts of her. Then you have this person coming up in the background on the right. It's trying to identify that person but they kind of fade in and out depending on what you see. So if you have a lot of people in the scene, it doesn't work well. And if we take the same thing and we go to transparent, you're going to see the differences even more. We'll play this for just a few frames. And here we have a lot of artifacts, a lot of issues. I wouldn't use it in this particular case. Now, it says you can only cut out human figures. Not exactly. Let's take the dog and apply it to this clip here. Now we'll play it. And even though it's not a human, we do have a decent job here. Let's look at it with a blurred background instead and play it. And that's not too bad. You've got some fuzzy in the areas because of his fur, but it's not too bad. So it does apply to more than humans. So that's an overview of the AI background remover and some tips on best case scenarios to use it in places where you probably want to avoid it.